Hi there, and welcome to this uh, short video on Open Badges and the Open Badge Factory Passport. We've been waiting a few months for Passport to appear. Well, it finally is, so how do you get it and what does it do? It's uh, probably the simplest uh, software application you've ever had. So all you need to do is open uh, a window in your browser and type in Open Badge Passport all one word, lowercase, and then add dot com. So there it is, open badge passport, just there. And uh, let's hit enter, <clears throat> and I should be taken straight away. Yes, there we are, to the open badge factory uh, passport. And uh, to set your passport up, scroll down and click sign up. Now, you can connect with Facebook, you can connect with LinkedIn, uh, but the better way of doing it, I think, is to put in your email address. Now, I'm not going to put an email address here, but I am going to put the words conference uh, 2014 or successes.nz. Now, what am I saying there? Well, if you use your conference 2014 email address, or if you didn't attend conference and you're a member of Six Senses, use your sixsenses.nz email address. Either one of those will be just perfect. So put in your email address, your first and last name, your country, and your birth date, and then create a new account <clears throat> just here. And when the new account is created, you'll also have to give yourself a password. Now, Open Badge Factory runs uh, the passport. So uh, if you forget your password, there's no point in coming to either David Bush or myself or anyone else uh, in the Methodist Church. It's over to you to uh, create a password that is memorable and uh, you can save it on your browser. If not, you can always go to Open Badge Factory and request a new passport. Uh, uh, sorry, a new password. Well, when your new account is created, uh, you'll be able to log into that account. And uh, here we go, I'm just logging into mine. And what you see in Passport is like a little mini portfolio of your accomplishments with open badges. Now you can see there I've attended and presented at Maharahui 2015. But look at this one, it says Open Badge Passport Member. When you first get into Open Badge uh, Passport, you can claim this little member's badge. And it's just a, a nice little bit of fun to help you along the way. And uh, uh, you'll see there that I've already got mine. It tells that I'm the earner, who's the issuer, descend them is, and uh, what is the badge all about. It said, well, it's been issued uh, to someone who's I got Open Badge Passport into usage, which you hopefully will have in the next few minutes. You can see here that uh, if you click back to badges, there are those badges, and uh, you have the ability to share those badges. So if, for example, I wanted to share my Maharahui attendee badge with people, I click on that, and look, I can, if I belong to Twitter, I can just click that. If I belong to LinkedIn, I can share it there. And if I belong to Google+, I can share it there. So uh, uh, let me see. I'm going to publish and share that open badge in Google+, which is my main method of communicating. I'm going to share it with everyone. I'm not sending an email there, I'm just doing a little share. I could do the same for, for Facebook um, uh, and tweet uh, on Twitter. However, that's Open Badge Passport. It's absolutely fantastic. There's also another step if you belong to Six Senses. In a few weeks' time, you will find that instead of uh, Mozilla Backpack displaying your badges in Six Senses, it'll be Passport, which means it's simplified to the nth degree again. And so if I just, for example, say click on my name, I'm taken to my profile page. Oops didn't click on my name properly. Now I have and I've taken to the profile page. And remember, your profile information is exclusive to you. You don't have to share it with anyone, you, or you can share it with 
your friends, which stands for professional development, or you can share it with logged in users or the general public. How you set your profile page up, how you edit your page and the information on it is entirely over to you. It's not controlled by anyone. It's not controlled by the General Secretary. It's not controlled by the Methodist Church of New Zealand. It's not controlled, for example, by Trinity College. It's a professional networking site and each member has total control over how they display their information. But sitting here, I've brought the open badges block onto my page and it's picking those badges up from Passport and just displaying them here very neatly in six senses. And uh, along with that, uh, the verified certificates from MOOCs that we support. So that's another neat little trick. Any further questions? Uh, well, no questions should be forthcoming about Passport. That's as simple as anything. But for those of you in Six Senses who want a little bit more detail, I'll be putting a few more videos up about how to display um, your badges through Passport into Six Senses when that facility becomes available, which is in the next couple of weeks. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy using your Passport it's a great tool as we really get into badging in a professional sense for the Methodist Church of New Zealand. See you later.